In regards to the question for the difficulties with the needle, we actually have Kieran Kingston, the head of quality of Novartis, and he's um, prepared to comment on that. I think to be fair to you, Kieran, as well, that everybody was w wishing for that needle to be reduced in size. So you know, you yeah, did do what people wanted. Yeah. So, you know. but thank you for taking the question. Um, I know you weren't here, and that was put on the spot to you. So thank you. Sorry, Mark. Just in terms of the. Um, Kieran's comments about the injection and the difficulties with it. Um, the representatives from both companies were here in 2014 at our patient day. And my recollection is, and I think it's been confirmed, <coughs> that your competitor doesn't have those problems. Um, so, I mean, it might be something that the, the team can take it on and say, we should, we should only use the one that works. Thank you for that very simple question. <laughs> I think that, you know, um, sometimes um, we, we've had a product with uh, this Novartis product has been excellent for a number, a number of years and, uh, and, and, and the other product is excellent as well. I, I'm pretty confident we can find solutions around this and, you know, the, the just to sort of highlight the last bit, Charles, of course, the intention was to be better, be more efficient, be <laughs> less painful. And, and and efficacious, and I and, and, and I'm sure that um, I'm sure that um, that 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 will um, that will be taken on board. But you know, if 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 people have really uh, you know, despite all the all the all the problems, it should not be. You shouldn't be leaving half the product in the in the syringe. So you know, I if there are other issues, we can we bring it up with us or with your with your care, and we'll we'll try to help you out there. Okay. That, that's a very interesting point you're making about the injections. Uh, this is the uh, monthly injection, the Sander statin injection. It's not a perfect science. Um, the, ne the needle used to be uh, more difficult to absorb. Uh, it was thicker. Uh, they've tried to sort of come to the stage by reducing the size of the needle to maybe to have it less painful. Sometimes the product sticks. But I suppose a lesson for lots of us is that our experience can add to the knowledge for Novartis. And people are finding, Tom mentioned it at the back, uh, another, uh, I suppose, mention of it here, that we're finding that if the, the, the product, if you leave it out overnight for a few hours before you actually bring it to your GP or whoever, to your nurse, that we're just finding that it's working that little bit better. Um, it's, it's, a thing, it's a tough thing to, to absorb at times, but yeah, it, it's also worth reminding yourself that this thing is keeping you alive. Um, and before I started on Sandostatin, I used to take interferon. It was as easy as pie to take just a nip. You, you could uh, administer it yourself, nip a little piece of flesh and take it. But I can tell you, the day after, you weren't, you weren't able to get out of bed. Uh, and I'm finding that the Sandostatin, I've been on it since 2002, and it's much more effective. And it's probably one of the lessons we can take from today that let's see if you're having difficulties with it. If you take it out for a few extra hours, uh, if when you bring it to your pharmacy or to your nurse, if it has been out exposed to the air for that little bit longer, let's see if the experience improved. And let's feed that back to Novartis. Uh, because at the end of the day, it's a very expensive drug and it is keeping us alive. <laughs>